Welcome back to this episode everyone, in this one we install the lighting and finish off the interior. Welcome back. All right, we are going to do uh, some more drilling here on the back here for the brake lights. Uh, right in between each of these uh, holes here, I'm going to drill a big hole here for the red LEDs. And let's get that done. good all right I got uh, these here they've already got like a, a reddish outline but I'm gonna paint the inside of it here all red as well Bless myself. What I like about these parts here is you can just push them right in. You don't really need glue. But on the, the points here that come through the holes, you can just put little dabs of glue on it. Just uh, make sure it locks it in place. Okay. And we got those on there. Just gonna paint a clear red over these lenses here. bad looks good okay now I think we're pretty much ready for the lighting here um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the lights in here for the dash uh, you can still see it it's it's like a milky white color yet but it, it will eventually dry clear it's just because I put it in so thick it's gonna take a few days but it will dry clear so let's get the lights in here first. Okay, so I got it. Uh, I need two, three. I need, uh, let's see, headlights and three for the dash. And, and yep, that's all I need there. And just so two reds here for the brake lights. Um, and a couple of yellows for the turn signal. So we're gonna get these three whites in place here. the 
trim these down a bit. Another test fit. Very good. All right. Okay, so I'm going to get these two soldered together. They're going to go in these first two holes there. Now I got those two done there. Now I'm going to put uh, run a line between these two. These are the positives. That's the negative there. I can just reuse some of the pins that I snipped off earlier <clears throat> to make the connection. going to use three volt power supply here just to do a quick test here yep cool down now this one here line up the lights in a, a little bit here. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm just going to connect this one to these lights. There we go. Works good. I did a test on it. It works beautifully. Alright, now, um, I'm just going to do a test here. Pop that in place, and I need to find out <clears throat> Okay, I'm not going to have any issues with the rear lights. There's plenty of room for the rear reds now I just need to see Where the front LEDs are going to fit <clears throat> now for the fronts here, for the LED, I'm, I'm going to have to shorten down the red, or the, the white on the top here. I'm 
joke. All right. Okay, let's get the headlights installed. <clears throat> okay, so I got it twisted like that. Go on the side here, pointing out. signal lights I think these are the yellow ones oh, those are the red ones so these have to be the yellow ones yep there we go got those installed I did a test fit it fits beautifully you don't see the lights and doesn't interfere with the body. Okay, now let's get the brake lights installed. There we go, got those. Now, uh, because these are reds, I have to have a resistor on these. Otherwise, it's gonna suck up pretty much everything from the yellows and the white. Before I put the area resistor on though, I'm gonna get all these tied in together. Okay, we got that on there, and I have a 5.6 ohm resistor on the yellows. Looks good. Very good. Now, finish off on the reds. Here we go. Got the lighting all done there now. I have a 180 ohm resistor on the red there. 5.6 on the yellows probably could have gone a little higher on the yellows stop lights there looks good not bad okay um, now these lights have to be tied in to the ones on the dash <clears throat> So I need to figure out, I'm going to get the dash in place here. Where the wiring is going to come out. So probably through here and it'll tie. Actually, I have to go over here and it'll tie into this side here because that's where the main feed comes in to feed all of these. So, the wiring coming down there, across, and then I'll have wiring coming down from here, down behind the wheel, into the stand, and then I'll have a switch on the stand which will activate the lighting. Okay, got the wiring on there. I had to make a big gouge there for the lighting and the wiring. So let's get that in place now.
Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's get this stuff installed. So I got the steering wheel installed and the gear shift, so we just got to do the, I'm going to put the seats in first and then the uh, side doors. bad looking good okay so I find out now I need to do um, a blue stripe because he he wanted it a two-tone color so a blue stripe going along the center here and uh, down along the center of the hood here all the way along so um, I have to mask off the area the windows and the area here where I want the blue to go and it just sprayed on and then uh, yeah perfect okay the windows are masked now I just got to uh, mask an area here where I want the strip to go Should have the hood on. off the rest of it other than that okay so while the paint is drying um, let's put the deckling on here before we close it all up so I'm gonna put it there there and there and then we'll do a quick light test see what it looks like there you go you can see it all in there now looks good you can see on the dash there I 
painted flat black all the way around the border so it looks even better. Let's do a quick light test here. And, uh, Oops. Yeah, loose wire. It's good. Well, that's it for this one, everyone. In the next one, we are going to do the final assembly. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions, or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. And please, check out my website, www.epicmodels.com. I will see you all again later. Bye-bye.